tools, the intro to laptop picking slides, these aren't my slides. Uh, I didn't have enough time to write my own slides and I haven't really gone through all these so it's going to be a little sloppy but it'll be okay, we'll work through it. Is, uh, has anybody here picked a lot before? Okay. Let's see. All right, so we do have some primary rules. You never pick locks that aren't yours, and anything you rely on, so don't try your car, don't try your house, because if you break something, then you're out of lock, and that's worse than having insecure locks. Lock picking is definitely easy, uh, and you, you can really do it from all kinds of common materials. Let's see. So in, inside the lock, you have a couple of basic components. You have the, the core, the outer cylinder, um, a set pin, or I'm sorry, a key pin, a set pin, and a spring. When those two pins align with the, uh, the line here is the shear line, that's when the lock opens. With that key, they just bind and they don't go anywhere. With a key, that's how your lock opens. So there's obviously more than one pin. And if you had a, if you had a cross cut a lock, this is about what it would look like. As you can see, they all line up, and that's, that's how that works. With lock picks, one pin binds at a time. So if you were to push up that one pin, it would stick on the shear line, which once you go through all of them a couple of times, lets you open the lock, and it doesn't reset itself unless they let go. I've got all kinds of locks and picks here if anybody wants to try this out while you're watching videos. You wanna put that over there? <laughs> I'm sorry. So 
this is the process I was talking about. Once you set one, it turns a little bit and it sticks up there so you can go on to the next one. Typically you would start in the back and move to the front, but you have to go back and forth a couple times to, uh, to actually set all of them. Yeah, there's a few of them here. It's not 
And for the, for the question of which way to turn, yeah. a lot of these ones like this one, like you have, there's uh, there's no bolt attached to the end of this, so you can really turn it either way. That's not good thing. Obviously, I don't have all the same practice locks they do, but they have, they have, uh, they have, uh, they have locks with like only one pin to build your way up, but I don't, I don't have that. That's right. I'll get that. That's why I started learning, and if you buy them, some of the cheaper ones from Walmart, they'll have that top cover plate on the other end. And you can pull that off and get the pins out real easy. Yeah. And also change them as you need. I think I've covered most of the stuff from the slideshow, so uh, next I'm just going to be demonstrating different things. <laughs>
Oh, keep yours in your wallet? I find you too. Yeah, yeah just keep a spare and just put it in your driver ID for the moment. That's exactly what I did. I did my wallet. I just, that just happened to me the other day. I was getting groceries and I was like, oh, my keys are still in the ignition. Great. So Isn't it funny though how you still get that wallet. holy shit feeling in your gut whenever you still close the door and the keys are in there? And you're like, yeah. oh, wait, I can fix this. Well, you're just like sitting there and then like, I'm talking about like even with your key in your wallet, you're just like, oh yeah, I got a solution for this. I'm just so glad I tried doing that because I, I would leave it at home because I'm so clumsy and lose things so easily. I thought I'd lose the key, but I always have to call someone, hey, can you go into my house and here's the yeah. thing? Like, it's so, so much better to start carrying it on me because I'm just pretty forgetful. I wish my car would ding or make noise at me if, I, if the key was in the ignition. Like that would make sense. I have cars that you can't now. You can't lock my... If it freezes in the ignition, I'm going to turn. You what? Yeah, you can't lock on one car. Yeah. You can shut the door. But it won't I've work. got some of the house, so but... The I should have brought them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for a sandwich. Most of them for like five big mods. So you can unlock the assets and store them. Yeah, it turns out that they do all kinds of stuff anyway. Most keys have a serial number on them, which actually indicates the cuts of the key, how deep the grooves go. And somebody coded a script where it'll actually, if you can give it the serial number off of it, it could generate a 3D render of it, and then you could print that out, and you'd have a plastic key. And it's, it usually is not going to be durable enough to trust inside of a lock, but you can use that to make a mold and then actually seek, uh, seek the mold out of it. Yeah. That was a much cooler idea. I still kind of wish I had the pair of keys. Bump keys, they're much nicer.
the raking thing. Is that the one you just picked? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I still can't. I
consistent with spending. Why? Yeah. 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 Yeah